you know what lap it was? By any chance? Okay. You passed for third. You're in third. Oh, okay. You're there. Yeah, I mean, listen, when it, it's difficult. I can, I don't think, you couldn't really go any farther down. Let me see, you, let me get the, let me get the Twitch onto the channel. Yeah, you definitely were in a bad spot there. Sound microphone muted. muted. You were in a bad spot. It 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 was just you, you got caught in in between a rock and a hard place here. I don't think it would have been that bad if he wouldn't have gotten hit. If it, that hit wouldn't have happened. But it's a tough corner because it's not it's not straightforward. It's like the curb. It's like it's a long drifting corner with. He was he, he was kind of cutting in a little bit. You were there, and you were definitely called to being there, so, yeah. It's a rough track. It's hard to pass. I'm not sure why it gels with me. I'm not sure why. it. I, I've, I've had good runs here in a lot of different cars. I'm not, I don't know. And it's not really a supercars track. It's not really a supercars track. I mean, there's not, it, it's like single groove, like, the whole way around. The only way to pass is to make make room pretty much, but you were there. You didn't push. The only thing I have to say about it is like not, you know, nothing against Tony here, but you were there. You didn't push him out wide. You didn't do anything to like he, he got he got the call that you were left car left car low, whatever it might be. But you got. Yeah, I mean, he went off the curb. You went off the curb a little bit, but. I feel like he would have been better off just letting the car drift out a little bit too, but is he actually? I don't know what's up this this season, man. I don't know. <laughs> He's not usually like this either. <sighs> you know, it's lap 25. You're at the end of the race. It's 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 close. You see it better in slow mo probably. I don't know. I said I think the same thing. There was an incident on the final lap, which is very very similar. Only, I think it was more of an aggressive move on, on the other person's part. Let me go. Let me go show you that. I'll show you exactly how this this whole race kind of went down. It's funny because it's 08 and 09 together. Uh, he's there. He's there. He's there. A door contact, and then boom. I mean, and this is running for freaking 11th. There's something about this corner. I don't know. I like this place. It's a good track. It's fun. But the, part, the thing that defines for me, yeah. He was he was upset about something too. It seemed like, and I'm not sure what it is, but that's not my place to get involved with between the two. But there's nowhere to pass. It's so hard to pass, and the only way to pass at a track like this is to make is to take advantage of someone in front of you making the slightest bit of mistake, and then forcing your way in. And then if you don't have the respect of the other person, they're not going to give you that little extra room that you can that you can use to to finish the pass. Like that's that's like the key here. It's like you need if you're not if you're relatively the same speed as someone, they're not gonna give you the break. That's 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 the thing. Like 
you caught me at Bathurst. I was like, I'm not gonna fight you. There's no chance, no way at all that I'm gonna be able to do anything to to hold you off, to battle you, to do anything. So I was just like, you caught me, go, just just go. <laughs> There's no point. But that that's my that's my take on 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 racing like that. But it's, it's difficult. You're in a tough position too. So, um, hold on. Talk about chat. It's just too big. I, I drove the Xfinity. I drove the NASCAR Xfinity car here a couple seasons, a couple years ago, in a race and. Boy, I'll tell you that that that's another level. At least this thing can you can drive around. Like you you you've got the options. Like that car is like one groove and that's it. If you go out wide, you, you got nothing. You ruin the tires. The tires are toast and single groove racing. I think we drove the super late models here, and that was a pretty decent race because it's not super. You know, it's not a high powered car. It has a lot of power, but it's 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 manageable in in such a close proximity. And I want to say we drove the new ARCA car, the K&N slash ARCA car here in the, in the Road Series too, but that race was decent. But that's because the car is like planted on road courses for whatever reason. So, again, you, you can make passes in that car because it, you can drive around. You, you, you don't have to be just single groove. But, I don't know. It's just hard to make move. It's hard to pass anybody because at this place because it's all just like single groove. I also had a ton of incidents. I ran off, <laughs> I ran off track so many times. All right, five incidents. I had a lot of incidents, felt like a lot of incidents. I kept driving off in this one corner, right here. I actually did it that lap too. Right here, just that little bit. Boom, one X. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, fifth. This is the final lap. I was, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> from my point of view, I had no idea what was going on when you when you when you guys crossed the line. I just saw you go all the way out there. I'm like, what just happened? Then I found out after the fact, a couple a couple laps later or a couple minutes later, that you had made the the, the side by side coming to the line. Amazing finish. Yeah, you had a great run through that last corner. Excuse the. Uh, Camera shock going back and forth between cameras. Oh yeah, on board. Uh. I would have made so many more passes tonight if I was able to get the run like that. That's just an amazing finish, and I know Dave is th is is pleased that uh, that it finished clean. Okay, come on. Oh, okay. Oh, that little, oh yeah, okay. That little lift. That right there. See, I had someone do that to me a couple laps to go. I was, pass, I was going to make the pass because he spun his tires coming out of turn one. I went to make the pass and they like cut me off hard. Like they went hard, like, made a hard left-hand turn right in front of me. And I cut back across. I never lifted and I got, I got a zero X for it. I thought I was going to turn him honestly, but I was like, ah, oh, I got to get by him. Man, what a finish. Okay, these cameras, I'm just awful. One twenty eight. Oh, there it is. You know what they say, if if only the finish line was a hundred yards further down. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but you also don't want to win the race dumping the guy either in the event that you were a lot closer than you thought you were. So, I mean, 
I give you credit for staying in it, though. <laughs> oh, man. Good job running to the end there. I'll tell you, starting from pit road here, I mean, you got the strategy right, but starting from pit road here in the heat and the race, well, EOL and the second caution, I kind of, kind of think was, was maybe a little bit more difficult after the first caution. But uh, good run. Good job. Yeah. The EOL. The EOL. Not the, not the pit road. The EOL. Anyway, good racing with you. Good run. Watch me go barreling through. <laughs> I was annoyed that I didn't win. Flashed my headlights. I was like, all right, I gotta get back to pit road. Get off of this. But. Yeah. Yeah, I think Julian kind of forgot too, otherwise he would have reminded you. But. I mean, the EOL pretty much did the same purpose anyway. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. My favorite part is that there's like a crew of people doing it too. Come on, is there a better camera? You, Chad, and Patrick. <laughs> I love it. I don't think I can record it. I'll have to do this later. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It hurt more. So it was a good run. I mean, it still could have been a lot worse. But all right, I'm going to head off for tonight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for a good race, man. It was a pleasure. Uh, Sebring. I'm sure that's going to be a time. So have a good day, I think, right? Day for you? Anyway, have a Well, you're going to have to come. No. Yeah. <laughs> have a good day. Yeah, there's uh, no broadcast, so you'll just have to come in as a spectator, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to Sebring. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> <laughs> he missed it. He totally missed it. Oh, my gosh. All right. Yeah. Have a good one, man. It was good racing with you.